Almost two months after Jacques Clemens was shot and killed by a Metro police officer, the investigation into the shooting continues. And now the Nashville NAACP is calling for police accountability. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis explains why many people still aren't happy with how the investigation is being handled. We believe uh, Black Lives Matter, so we think it's important that that, that board be in place and that they are not paid, uh, so not biased. The Nashville chapter of the NAACP is calling for a citizen's review board after a police-involved shooting sparked outrage in the community. Now the NAACP is pushing for change. We want to see it to be a strong board uh, that has investigative powers, that has a budget, and et cetera. Uh, we just don't believe the police can police the police. This conversation comes after Metro Police Officer Joshua Lippert shot and killed 31-year-old Jacques Clemens back in February. Metro Police began its own investigation into the shooting, but nearly a week later, the DA's office asked the TBI to step in and take over the investigation. But Pastor Davey Tucker says Metro Police never really stopped investigating. Yes, it's very concerning because you cannot have a parallel and independent at the same time. Pastor Tucker has been on the forefront of this issue since there was community outcry for an independent investigation, but says members of the community still aren't satisfied with how it's being handled. I wish Chief Anderson would step aside and allow his department to be investigated. And I wish the mayor would force him to. Many who call Nashville home and the Nashville chapter of the NAACP believe black lives matter, but now they're trying to make their lives matter to others too. I don't think everybody believes it, and that's why I think it's critical that we, that we have that board. On Friday, the TBI and Metro Police announced from now on the TBI will investigate all officer-involved deaths here in Nashville. But in the Clemens case, the TBI's investigation is still ongoing, but Metro Police wrapped up their investigation two weeks ago. For now in the newsroom, I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5.